as usual, gamble on which way is the right way. Gamble incorrectly. Well, let's power up this room. Build us an industry generator. Build us at least a couple of Tesla modules. Considering they're cheap, I've got so much industry it doesn't matter. And... Wow, that's convenient. What the heck is this thing? Activating it may... I think it just gave me dust. That was a weird thing, whatever the heck it was. I don't know what death would have been. But I guess worth it? Roth it? Eh. I seriously don't understand what that thing was. Might as well just power this one so I don't have anybody popping up behind me. Hello. Yes. Swordswoman. Fast swordswoman. And apparently I'm an HR boss. And she actually starts at the level of everybody else. Perfect. So that means I don't actually have to uh, hold her hand. I do kind of wish I hadn't sold that guard uniform, but I'll probably be able to buy better armor slightly later than this. And let's go with... Science would be nice, food would be nice. Yeah, let's get some food. We need... Uh, higher, higher hero levels is uh, useful. Especially now that I have four of them. Might as well just power this one. Wow, yeah, nobody can invade just because I have enough to, to power every single room we've gone into. Just because, like, half of the ones we have gone into have been uh, automatically powered. Uh, I don't think I need to build a Tesla module, especially if all of these are going to be powered. Because if I don't... Ha Wow, yeah, I could just walk to the exit and nobody would even contest it. That would be great, but dumb. Hello, this looks like a thing. Is there... Really, it's not going to address the fact that there's a giant, freaky test tube with maybe a person inside it? I question things. I might as well power the exit room. And seeing as this is the exit room, we're going to build Tesla module and Tesla module. I don't think there are going to be a whole lot of enemies coming through there, but uh, it's not something I want to experiment experiment with too hard. All right. And I'm not going to open up this door because that would give them... Is this uh, food? Oh, that's food. Okay. And now we run back. Because panic is happening. I might as well just murder these guys. Yee, I need more active defenses. One, one of those enemy types is apparently uh, a slowing type of enemy. Oh, Jesus. It really is going for my food. Run, crew. Uh, you're good at sprinting. Unfortunately, she also has, like, shit weapons. Or more so she doesn't have any. Oh, okay. There we go. I think we're good. Hopefully they won't go for my crystal. Yeah, we're all, we're all golden. Yeah, there are actually new Id enemies in this. Weird. Now, at this point, I might actually just clonk her right there and use the rest to adventure. Because she's slower than the rest of everybody. Let's say clonk her right there. Apparently she wants to go adventuring with everyone else. Because uh, she's slower than everyone else, so... You know, slows them down, but mainly she is a really good defensive turn. So leading her, leaving, leading her, leaving her right there is a solid tactical plan. Let's power this one. Actually, move her here, because this, this is going to be our defensive hub, if anything. And I've got like 200 industry, so there's no reason why I don't just deck the shit out of this room. Nothing's getting by this one, and I might as well build, eh, more food. Science wouldn't be good, but we're actually sitting on a solid amount of science already. So it doesn't feel particularly necessary to me. Yeah, these guys look to be all good. I don't know if... One of these had the fast healing, but... Yeah. I don't think we have much to worry about. I might actually take his armor and give it to her. Come to think of it. Nope. Her armor. Considering she's the frontliner. Alright, and... I don't even know what that gear icon on her face means. I'll just assume it's good things. I should probably also level up the medic, considering she's one level lower than everybody else. Yeah! Alright. Party time. Uh, let's go through this door. I like it how uh, the floors are actually getting bigger. It's netting me more resources. Hello. And this is actually going to... Uh... Huh. What's this do? Knowledge is good. 
Interestingly enough, the primary resource for this room is food. Weird. Either way, uh, oh, I have module slots. So in this case, especially since uh, buying stuff is food related, let's get a shit ton of food. Because I want to go on a shopping spree. I want to outfit everybody in uh, cool fancy equipment. And I want all of my characters to be super high level. I also want to ride my bicycle. Oh, yes? Industry generator level four? Thank you very much. And no monsters are spawning over there, but they are spawning in this room. But this room is bonkers, so I'm not terribly concerned about it. I might actually bulldoze one of those so I get the healing item, though. Oh. Well. I think, uh, yeah, I think we're golden. Nobody else spawning over here. Also, I should probably be probably be smart and stop opening doors while there are monsters spawning. Oh, she's beasting things as usual. I do have okay. I do have the biotransference thing. Let's actually bulldoze this one and build one. Perfect. Also, apparently, I forgot to rename the uh, stream over to Dungeon the Endless instead. Even though I I I wrote it in, I just didn't any, do anything else. Either way. God, this is, this is a nuts room. Honestly, we're in a really good position. What's up with the food generator there? Is it broken? No, they're just in front of it, so it's all shadowy and stuff. Well, I might as well power this room and this room? Hmm. Not really worth it for either. Also, I might as well power this one, and let's, let's quickly send her over. I want to see if I can do any more research. Doubt it. But, um, well, what do we got? Land module, auto dock shards. These are pitiful. Well, either way, the industry level four is perfect. Because, yeah, seriously, there are these, like, weird-ass test tube things that are terrifying. I honestly don't understand what they're supposed to be. There's something all right. This is hurting a little bit. Eh, I don't think... I'm gonna need any healing here. Yeah, she's just clobbering her way through everything. It's kind of great to watch. I'm going to... I'm gonna quickly use... Medkit. Golden. Don't even know if I needed to do that, but either way. Uh, this way if she takes any damage, and I'm going to level her up. Level her up twice, but we need some cash too, because I can buy her some armor. Or a weapon? I don't know. What does a shopkeeper have? I've already forgotten. So he's got a pea shooter, which I don't think we're going to need. Because we need a machine gun. Because we need a sword, a machine gun, or a device. Because we've already got two guns. Pea shooters. What's the difference between the... Oh, yeah, we do. We do actually want the pea shooter. And I think I can afford all of these. Oh, no, I can't afford the happy pills yet. But I will absolutely buy that, too. Okay. Let's close the merchant. I wish it would close the merchant first. Frag grenade? Alright, so let's give her the pea shooter. Give her the t shirt. Give her the frag grenade. Why is the frag grenade a defensive item? Like, it gives me a defense boost. I don't get it. And we'll give her the HGTTG. Don't know what that does. Knowledge is good. Uh, here's in the floor. Uh, here's in floor. Wit plus two. You just need to be smarter than the monsters. All right. We only got a couple more doors to open up. Should probably make sure I don't have any other modules that I can build. Nope, that one doesn't have any buildable module spots. These do though. So let's net us. Do I even want to? I could net myself a shop. Let's build a shop, see what happens. Seeing as I... Oh, it actually, like, summons a dude. <laughs> I could just build these and have it... Uh, I could effectively murder people by just repeatedly... Oh, what? Does he just have the exact same stock as the other one? Where's the other guy? Is he in here? Did I loot? Yeah, the shopkeeper just... Pieced it. Alright. Yeah, because... She's there. Yeah, no shopkeeper. Shopkeeper is just gone. No, no. 
Uh, okay. No understanding, but, uh... Oh, no, you know what? He just moved. Also, I think that was the last room on the floor. Yep. It absolutely was. Well, that was dumb of me, but then again, I don't really... Oh, wait, no, it's not. We've got this whole branch over here that I've completely ignored. I like it when that happens. Well, that was fast. I think that is it, though. Because no doors there, no door there. I think the one thing is it counts it on a door-by-door -door basis instead. So if I open up the shortcut between the crystal room... Like, if I opened up this door, it'd give me the message saying you've unlocked every door. But, yep, that's it. Alright, so what we're going to do is just toss everybody there, except for her. She's going to take the long way around. Uh, actually, should quickly check science. Just in case there's something worth researching, considering it will go instantaneously. But I don't really have a whole lot of research points. There's auto dark dock shrines. It's not bad, actually. Yeah, I'll research it. Well, this is easy. Onwards! And we're probably going to have a bunch of enemies coming through the, uh... <laughs> I... Wait, let's, uh, demolish this. See if this shopkeeper gets the right idea. Nope, he doesn't leave. Oh, but all the doors open. Interesting. So, once you've actually, uh, grabbed the crystal, every single door on the floor opens. That's good to know. It means nothing to me. I'm already done. Are, are we good to go? Wait, where, where are you? Wait, where? What? Oh. Weird. Was I in there already? I don't even understand. Either way, we leave. Yay! That was trivial. But, like, good trivial. I don't know. You know, it didn't look like this at all the... At, it didn't look like this at all on the brochures. And, yeah, floor cleared. Continue dialogue. Nobody else wants to talk to him. Just, like, at all. N nobody likes Max. I like that. I like that. He's just like the leader and just nobody likes him. So everybody just pretends they can't speak just so he has no reason to respond to them. That is weirdly perfect. Either way, achievement unlocked. Oh, so for clearing a floor, you get a person? Weird. Either way, we're getting... Uh, the walls are moving. The walls are freaking moving. I don't like that. Oh, let's power this room up. And get us some industry. Because we are actually running a little low on it. Not too low, though. And we're probably going to go back to just more food. Because the, uh, the faster everybody levels, the better off we're going to be. I don't know what the maximum level is. I don't even know if there is a maximum level right now. But... Can't complain about it. What's this one do? Uh, Heroes on the Floor cannot operate. Don't actually know what that means. Well, let's power this room and keep going. I like it that things are starting to look freakier. That's cool. It's well done. And this entire route is safe. I like it when that happens. And hopefully that still will go away. Oh, no. Well, it is safe. And it has no branches. Unfortunately, this room has, like, nothing in it either, and when that stell goes away, we'll have a module slot. Eh. Can I level somebody up while I'm running around here so I can level her up? She needs it anyway, considering she's by far the flimsiest of all of my heroes. And I like non-flimsy characters. Go down the list, I guess. Because we got this... we got side doors that we can mess around with. But as, oh, hello, Food Replicator 3. So we're going to want to build another science generator. Is this still gone? Yeah, it is. All right. Science. Science. I don't know why I wanted to say science that way. King's armor added to your inventory. What? Huh. That is absolutely going on her. And she can't wear armor. He'll get the restrainer. All right, perfect. So, apparently she's like a beast now. And apparently this side room is also a dead end. I like it when that happens. And that means I'm going to want to build... Probably another science generator, considering that is the resource we're craving. 
at this point in time. All right, because yeah, I'm going to be able to get the food generator shortly. And then we can get, ooh, Tesla 2. I don't know if getting Tesla 2 upgrades the price, but considering I've got so much industry, it does not matter. Oh, and apparently we've got another one of the, uh, another module slot. Might as well. Might as well get more industry. Stockpile that. So the more of that we have, uh, well, the more needless I can be with all of my construction. Hey, food replicators. And, yeah, I'm getting an insane amount of dust here, so I can power every single room I've been through at this point. That's nice. Saves me on invasions. And it looks like the team is just decked to the teeth. Oh, well, I can power almost every room. I want to power this room, but I can't yet. I guess I'll just depower that one, power this one. And... More industry. This is going to get silly fast, but, uh, well, we need it anyway. And unfortunately, we don't have a dust generator. I'll probably also build a shop probably towards the end of this floor. And hopefully it won't cost me dust or something like that. But, uh, I don't know. Might as well have another shop. Doesn't look like we've got an invasion from the back either. Alright. Yeah, this is... Oh, good. Okay, so the food replicator is up to level 3. I think I only have one on the floor. But that's... Alright, don't want to level her. Let's go with him. He's dirt cheap anyway. What does Restore do? Oh, Restore's his uh, ability cooldown. That actually would be really useful. And uh, what what would the cost be, I guess, since she has no cooldowns? But that would be really useful uh, for the medkit lady, especially. Considering, well, healing. Especially on the job without costing me food. I guess it would be costing... Oh, shit! Run, lady, run! Save the crystal. Yep, See, she saved it fast. Oh boy. Okay, is everybody in the area? Everybody's in the area. Let's uh, pop the cooldowns. Bust everything up. Victory for the proletariat. I completely forgot that uh, we actually have undefended areas now. That's not going to be good. So in that case, we're just going to leave her behind, and then we'll be all good. Also, as a unrelated note for everybody watching this now and watching this later, uh, Sebastian SB is a terrible person, and everyone should insult him to his face, and over the internet, and via email, and pretty much any way possible. Just, just insult his face. All right, uh, this pu public message has been brought to you by uh, uh, Screw Screw Sebastian SB, uh, also known as Keith. Also, I know where you live. Also, please don't invade me. Lots of research crystals. Not a lot of anything else. Ooh, hello. Okay. So all of these are benign, but we've got a pedestal I can build on. Wow. I have a lot of industry. I like that. Uh, let's go for more more food. I like more food. And also, Teslas. So many Teslas. Let's actually blitz her back a little bit. And grab this. Because <sighs> we want a great many things. I'm going to go with... Uh, wait. Wait. I thought Tesla 2 was one of the options here. Did it cycle? Oh, it's because I completed a research. Well, either way, uh, science level 4 is probably more valuable than Tesla level 2. Just say. Just saying. I don't know why I did not continue saying the word. Saying. Either way. I think... Wow, I haven't found the exit yet. I guess that's not terribly surprising, but... Uh, Oh, well, actually, I really don't have much to yeah, concern myself with. Probably a good point to build an auto dock shard here, too. Might as well get some solid fast healing on everybody. Should be good. Yeah, between the between the Teslas, it'll actually regen the Tesla. Oh, that's perfect. It regens the Teslas. Yeah, okay. And I got enough power. I can power this room and this room. Which means I'm going to move her up a little bit. Yeah, we'll have those back there, but considering I've got so much industry, it doesn't matter. And we'll build another auto dock sh shard, because those are bonkers, and I love them. Alright. Keep moving. Uh, let's see. Might as, might as well build a food generator, too, because I'm burning through industry. But once I've completed it, it's no big deal. Honestly, I can afford a module every two rooms I go into. Hello. Oh. Can I not recruit him? Nuts. Because I really want to recruit him. So you know what we're going to do. 
Um. Yeah, why not? Bye. So now we have this guy. Who's apparently the cook. After this, you'll never want to eat again. Boosts all the heroes in the room attack power by a fair amount. Alright. And apparently he also uses melee weapons. Eh, could be worse. Let's give him this restrainer. We need to find a shop. Actually, I can build a shop. What? Am oh, whoa. You can do this. That's cool. Alright, so apparently you can zoom in and out. Works for me. And I don't have enough dust. As soon as I do, I think I'm going to power that lower room and then build us a shop. Because we need to find swords. Stat. Actually, can I... Yeah, I can science. Science! Alright. Things are going well. Things are going real well. I mean, it's kind of like a crazy party in here, and I'm not entirely sure I like it. Oh, what? She can turtle mode too? Yeah, I can't complain. Turtle mode's probably going to save her ass. Fair amount. Perfect. What have we got in here? Oh, hey, here's the exit. And doesn't look like there's anything else in here either. Ah, but I, do, I have the dust. I can power this room. Let's build us a shop and see what happens. I wonder what it's going to cost us as far as stuff goes. Uh, let's just leave that here and send her. She's pretty much the gopher considering how fast she moves. Uh, I built a shop. Where's the shopkeeper? What is this nonsense? Oh, does it just relocate the shopkeeper? That's frustrating, actually. Oh, well. more food. And we get science level four. Perfect. And we've got invasions. Let's just run everybody back here, especially because people are getting smacked. Ow. Jeez, she's getting hammered. All right, time for turtle. And I'm going to build bio-organic transference here. Just because get the, getting these guys healed is very important right now. Jesus. This is nuts. All right, you need to heal. And not die, don't die. Thank you. Okay, we're all good. Wow, that was a lot harder than I was expecting. Well, either way, uh, let's science some more. Uh, mechanical plow, uh, pal, bioorganic transference level two. Land module is not great. Mechanical one. See, the thing is, I don't know how the mechanical pal works, and so I'm like loath to pick it up. Uh, claymore mine. Oh, weird. The claymore mine doesn't actually. Um... Huh. So the Claymore Mine is reusable. I'm gonna go with that. It's probably the most valuable thing on the docket. And let's just keep going. Oh, right. I can power another room. Might as well just power that one. Because the enemy waves are starting to get really dangerous here. And we get Claymore Mine and Bulletproof S. Perfect. Now let's run back in a panic because everything is terrifying and painful. Jesus Christ. You're dying. At the very least, I've got so much food, I can just kind of constantly be pouring food into healing him. But, uh, not a good system. Okay, she's got... Yeah, science. Wow, that is, that is expensive. Jesus Christ, he's getting spanked. What's the thing with the restrainer? The restrainer has... Yeah, let's put the bulletproof vest on him. Nope, he is still dying. He is still dying real hard. Now let's just spend all of my food. Actually, get him just the hell out of there. You, food. You, this. And... This. All of the abilities. This should... Okay, that sucked. All right, we need to build some Claymore Mines. We need some seriously heavy artillery here. Okay, so Shopkeeper did not show up. Um, let's see, what research can I get? Emergency Dust Gen... Te Tesla 2, perfect. 
So we buy organic transference is tempting. Dust field generator is also tempting. Um. Oh, what? Oh, no, no remaining closed doors means. Oh, so if you have a closed door, but you haven't. Okay, that actually makes a lot of sense. All right, let's turn off some rooms. Because what we're going to do. Actually, I want to keep these on just because there's stuff. Okay. Can I? Yeah. Okay, so essentially what we're doing is we've flipped it around. So instead of having um, uh, this entire section protected so nobody can um, attack us from this direction and surprise us at the crystal, we've got it so the entire run to the exit is safe. So what I'm going to do is just leave everybody here except for the runner. All right. This is going to be exciting. But, man, this game has gotten a lot harder than I was remembering. We need more food generators, by the way. Like, uh, we need a silly amount of food food generators. Oh, well, either way, I think we're absolutely safe. Especially because we left, like, several Claymore mines just kind of in the back to just wail on people. All right, that, that was way easier than I thought it was going to be. Either way, let's leave. Oof. But uh, I am concerned about stuff. How about if the newbie takes point? Oh, right, it's because we got rid of Max, so people are talking now. <laughs> Unfortunately, they barely talk. 